Hi everyone, more tips and tricks. Today I'm going to tell you about getting rid of dark circles and puffiness under your eyes. I have a lot of people asking me about this and although it's a slightly tricky one because everybody's skin is different and you need to find something that suits you, there are a couple of tried and tested remedies which seem to work for most people. Firstly, getting more sleep is a really obvious one but a lack of sleep actually does make the skin underneath your eyes slightly paler and slightly more translucent so you can see um, underneath and the darkness that is appearing. Um, also, drinking more water tends to sort of make the circulation work better and shift those dark circles. Okay, for the old school remedies you can use caffeinated tea bags. Now these ones have been soaked and then cooled and you just need to put them on your eyes for about 10 to 15 minutes and the tannin in the tea actually takes down puffiness and discoloration so that's a really good one another favourite sorry, just get rid of the tea under my eyes another favourite is cucumber and people have used this for years and years and years because it's so cooling and soothing and just a really nice way to relax and help take down any darkness that you may have so it's a case again of just lying down, relaxing and putting this on your eyes, instantly cools, and it's really lovely actually. Um, again, you can cut it, I'll just snap it to show you, if you don't want to cover your entire eye. So you have two pieces like this, and you can just put them underneath. And another thing you can do is take a spoon, put it in the freezer till it gets really, really cold, then you literally just pop it onto your dark circles, and you hold it there until the spoon gets warm. Or, you can take an ice cube and wrap it in a soft cloth and just hold it underneath your eyes for probably 5 to 10 minutes. All of these things help to take down any swelling and any discoloration. Now this isn't going to be for everybody, but it is one of those tricks that makeup artists use. And no, for the sceptics out there, I can't prove it scientifically, but it's something that we've all used for quite a long time and it seems to work. So you'll just have to try it and see how it works on yourself. But it's using gel for hemorrhoids. Sounds horrible, but actually the whole point is shrinkage and what it does is it retracts the skin, takes away puffiness and swelling and makes the whole area look much better. So, if you want to give it a go, try it. If not, perhaps you should use the tea bags or cucumber like I spoke about earlier. For more tips and tricks, find me on Twitter at Chloe Butcher or on my blog, Oh So Chloe. Bye!